Welcome back to the channel, guys. I made a new track. So I'm going to show you guys that. And it has a really awesome thing on a spur. So we're on the spur right now, CSX. We're going to be running that. See, down there is where it switches off. Um, and then you've got another sighting there. Uh, but it has something really cool, so we're going to be running a, um, a train of food and drinks today. Down there, there's the start of our train. We still need to get um, the rest of it up off of the thing. Up off of. <laughs> you guys will see it in a minute. Oh, I just showed it by accident. But here we go. I'll go ahead and give you guys a good look at it. There it is. It goes up here. Now there are going to be a few dark parts in the video, so yeah. But we'll go ahead and get the train running. There we go. Things with you and Tyler, but now you need to see this. I'm going to be going up this way. This way. I'll put more power into it. Can I tell you for something? I love you here forever. There it goes. And you love them. Okay, we're up there. Um. set up the camera there. I'm gonna go attach those cars. So I'm gonna go attach the cars now. Okay guys, I'm back. Um Attach the cars. Oh, well, I guess I didn't. So, they must have detached, so I'll go up there. I think I got it now. They're not actually attached. I'm just going to roll slowly. Hold on, guys. I think we have a problem. I'm afraid I'm not in charge of the schedule. work with us here and I'll see if I can oh come on I can get I can get gravity to work with us and that will gravity can work with us I'll just use gravity Oh my gosh, it keeps going. Okay, here we go. Let's get going. It there so you can actually here's a good look at the locomotive you guys have probably seen it before on the channel well of course you guys have actually seen it before on the channel so here we go we'll go ahead 
Oh, yeah, I forgot. I didn't fully attach it. So. <laughs> I think I got him. Actually, can I? Yeah. yeah, I did. There we go. They're over the points. Oh, yeah, it's fast. Definitely is. Bam. Point switched. We'll go ahead and get this locomotive running. We'll get it going forward. And. This is weird. It won't go. It's not going for some reason. Oh, I think I got it. Yeah, I did. We're attached. I'm gonna cut the camera here so that you guys don't have to see me attach these cars. That probably gets them like boring. So we're just gonna go ahead and I'll cut the camera. So okay guys i'm back i got those cars attached and the locomotive turned around we'll go ahead and proceed out of this switching yard and um well the spur and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna set up the camera somewhere so that you guys can actually see the train pull out at a good angle because you can't really see it that good at this angle so i'll cut the camera again and i'll switch the angle okay guys um i have set up the camera at a different angle so that you guys can actually see the track uh and the train pulling out i'll have to move it again but this is just to see the train pull out. You should be able to see. Okay. I'll try and come back here and like try and change the view of the camera. So as it, as the train goes by. So we'll go ahead and we'll start it up. So I'll go over there. You guys are actually under the Christmas tree right now. So. Hold on a minute. Okay, let's get going here. We got it pulling out. There it goes. Out under there. It's a bit dark through there. So you guys can't probably see it that well. So I'm going to go ahead and switch these points. And I'm just going to keep the train running. And I'm going to cut it here. So that I can actually, um, like, get the train up to a higher speed and stuff. And switch so these points. As you can see over there, here it comes already. So here we go. Okay, guys, I'm back filming. There goes the train now. Um, I had a few technical issues. So, yeah, that was a thing as well. I think we're going to have to shorten this train. We're going to go shorten the train. I'll be right back. I'm going to check out that box car. So that box car was what was causing it, so yeah. So, yes, guys, I fixed it. Hopefully the train should be okay now that I took that out. This section here is a bit dark, so I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well. Probably not. There's the engine. There goes that CSX locomotive there. There goes the cars. That was really dark. So, yeah. Um, so, that's kind of the layout. 
I'll give you a layout tour. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to put a uh, train of box cars together and kind of show you this layout that I built. And the main part is really just this area here. It, this part took longer than the actual track did. This is a spur, this a part of the spur is here. I couldn't find my other buffer, but I'll try and find it. And I was gonna put it there. Um, really I was gonna put a factory there, which I probably will. Um, and yeah, I just thought it would be cool to have that at the end, and I guess there goes the train, it's a bit dark. So, um, I'll give you a layout tour. So, yeah, I'll give you a layout tour. But, at the end of the video, I will show you guys some, like, some, some of the train running. In fact, since I got it running now, why don't we just go ahead and actually just, like, do some now. So, I'll cut it here. So, yeah. So yeah guys, we'll go ahead and I'll give you the layout tour because with these shots you can't really, you know, see the train actually like, you, well you can see the train but you don't like exactly get the layout, you don't know like what the layout looks like. So we're going to go ahead and we will, I guess, put this train, I guess we could put it on that spur and we'll go ahead and get right into um the tour i'll film the train going out of the spur for you as well so yeah okay guys the locomotive is at the spur we're just short of the spur which is right there you'll be fit off Someone will film this for me, and let's go ahead and get right into, like, getting the train on the spur, and then I guess we'll go for the layout tour from there. Okay, guys, we're just short of the uh, points here, and we will... Go ahead and get this train forward. I'll switch the points and I'll come up onto this spur here. Um, and we'll go up onto the spur and we'll just put it right where, right there where you see like down in your right, your right corner, you'll see um, some white, some uh, nickel silver track there. We'll put it on that switch. So, We'll go ahead and get the train running. That's reverse. Okay. We're, we've got it going. We'll just pop about right there. I'll go ahead and switch the points. Perfect. Now we can get the train actually backing up into the, uh, the siding here. Hold on guys, a thing happened. It's okay though, we can keep filming. Here we go, we got that train backing up. Let's see what we can do. Let's see, go over the back. 
I mean, it just abruptly stopped. I don't know why. But that's good right there. So, guys, we will go on to the layout tour. Okay, guys. We're going to be starting up here. Now, I don't have... I haven't named the locations in this in this um on my layout yet so i don't know how to get the comments working and i would say comment below if you know how but obviously well i think you get it so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we'll start up here and yeah i'll come up with, with names on everything and by the way, if I get the comments working, I will ask, um, you guys can comment on, like, if you think that, like, we should, we should maybe, maybe if I can get the comments working, you guys can make the names for these. So we're going to be starting up here, which I'll just call the elevated sighting. Or Minecraft book sighting. I'll come up with a better name than that. Well, we'll go ahead and head on down here. If you keep coming this way, you'll see um, the, the switch. You'll have this switch, which goes back there. I parked the CSX there, as you know. Um, and it comes back this way. And here it is. Now, I can't find a... Um, my buffer for this, my my uh, stopper there for this. So if I can find that, I'll definitely put that on there. So yeah, that would be cool if I could find that. For some reason, it abruptly stopped. I think I found out how, I think this piece of track, that white one, has a little problem with it. I'm not really sure what it is. So yeah, we'll go ahead and move on to the next um, area. So if we go over the switch here, then you will have this area, which goes back into there. Now, it's really dark back there because there's no lights. So I'm going to go ahead and get a flashlight so I can shine back there and you, and you guys can see. So I'm just going to cut it and I'll be there with a the flashlight. Meow. Okay, guys, I have the flashlight. We're on the other side. Um... So yeah, it goes this way. It has little turns there. It's a bit better right here. But right here you can see that it's gets pretty dark. Keeps coming along here. Find a name for this area as well. Um and I don't need this flashlight anymore. I looked for like like three minutes just to find this flashlight and I only needed it for like 30 seconds worth of filming. So I'll go ahead and cut it here so that I can put the flashlight back. Okay, coming out of that dark area, we have this, which is um, just just that part coming out of the dark area that goes around here. And this is where the terminal re-railer is and also the plug for it. The whole system's here. Um, I'll try to make I'm going to try and make a better area here. Because if you look up here, and then look there, and then back there. Yeah. I'll try and clean this area up and try and make, like, an, a driver's position up here where I can, like, where I have everything. I'll show you guys. I'm going to do it. I'm not, it's not going to be like, I think I might do this. I am going to do this. Right after I finish this video and, um, well, edit it and post it, I will actually do that. So, if you keep coming on this way, um, there's, I get a few shots right here. And this is also where that is as well. So, yeah, it comes just through there. It goes under this tunnel. And goes under the Christmas tree. I put you guys under the Christmas tree sometimes because it's a lot easier on myself. 
because the stand there stands up my iPad. So yeah, and then it just keeps coming back here and then right there. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you made it this far, I'm actually proud of you because normally my videos aren't this long. I mean, this one's gonna be a long one. I'm hoping it's gonna be around a 10 minute video. So, um, 10 to 15 minute video. But I like to say I would. I like to ask if you if you would like to like and subscribe now, not like at the start of the video like most YouTubers do. Because now you know if you want to like and subscribe. So, yeah. It kind of makes sense. So, yeah. Um, I would also um, like to thank my Nana for filming um, when I backed the train up into the um, switch. And right here. So, yeah, I don't know if you guys could see that, but, yeah, there. She helped me on that part, so, yeah, that was actually, like, really helpful for her. Um, she, so, that was really nice, I guess. Um, I'm, I keep rambling on here, um, but, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. And wear your seatbelt, I guess.